Bible Educator. Hello Lana, my name is Jane Sakwa. I will present a mathematics lesson from one and the topic today is multiples. Now what is a multiple? I have an example here, multiples of five. We want to put numbers in groups of five. So our first group is five. One, two, three, four, five. I can put them in two groups, a group of five here and another group of five. When you total five plus five, it will give you 10. So we have two groups of five and we say the multi, another multiple of five is 10. I can also put this five in three groups. This is the first group of five, second group of five, and third group of five. Now the total of these three groups is 15. So we can say the multiple of five is also 15. There are many others multiple of five. We can have 20, 25, 30, all those we refer to them as multiples of five. Now, what is a multiple? How can we define a multiple? A multiple is a number that can be divided by the given number without a remainder. Let's go back here. If the given number is five, and we say that 10 is a multiple of five, what does it mean? It means that if I take 10 and I divide it by 5, I will not have a remainder. And 10 divided by 5 will give us 2. The other multiple of 5 was 15. So if I take 15 and I divide it by 5, I will get 3. There is no remainder. So a multiple is a number that can be divided by the given number without a remainder. From this definition, we can go to the next part, which is the least common multiple. Let us go back to this chart. Five has many multiples. We have 10, we have 15. But there is a least common multiple, especially if you are comparing two or more numbers. And this least common multiple is what we abbreviate as the LCM. So how do we calculate the least common multiple? Now before we look at how we calculate the least common multiple, we can look at other examples of multiples. I have six here. The other example of multiples of six are 12, 18, 24 and 30. All these numbers will divide 6 without a remainder. Our second example is 7. So which are the multiples of 7? I have 14, 21, 28, 35 and there are many other multiples of 7. Now all these numbers will divide 7 without a remainder. I have a third example, 8. Which are the multiples of 8? I have 16, 24, 40, 48. Now these numbers will divide 8 without a remainder. If we pick a number like 40, 40 divided by 8 will give us 5 and there is no remainder. My last example is 9. Which are the multiples of 9? We have 18, 27, 36 and 45. If I pick the example of 45, it means that 45 divided by 9 will give us 5. So 9 can be put in 5 different 
groups. So the numbers that can be divided by a given number without a remainder is what we refer to as the multiple.